Hi guys, uh, my name is Ruby Priyev again uh, from Precision Pain Medicine. Today we're doing a left knee genicular block, which essentially we're blocking all four of the genicular nerves. Uh, we have seven in the knee, but we can't get to all seven. Uh, so we're blocking the four major ones to help with chronic pain relief. Uh, and basically, this is our patient. We've been doing it for a several amount of time now with us and he's been doing pretty well with it. And these blocks usually are done every so often to help with the knee pain if you failed like a gel injection or a cortisone injection or even knee surgery um, and that you're not a candidate for. Uh, and these blocks work about a month for about a month and then we can do the, the genicular blocks that kind of burn away the nerves. So right now, through the x-ray, we kind of localize to see which parts of the knee that the nerves are located. Uh, and from there, we kind of go ahead and inject a little bit of numbing medicine. You might feel a little pinch, okay? Yep. So as we go a little bit down, put in some numbing medicine. Let me know if there's any pain, okay? I'll put in a little bit more numbing medicine for you. Yep. That's one part. Get the other side. Take a picture. Okay, so that's the on that side of the knee is the perineal nerve, so you want to stay away from that part. And we're going now towards the top. As you see, what we're trying to do is localize the right area picture on the x-ray to make sure that we're injecting in the right space. And usually the nerves are situated around the crest of the, of the tibia bone. And once we're able to localize that, we can accurately kind of sit right next to the nerve and inject right in that area. Okay, so that seems about it. So, a little spray. A little numbing medicine, okay? Yep. Good. So that's two down. You get the third one now. So John, just show the key for the camera where we're placing the, the needle. So you can see on yep. that side, that's right right at that angle is where one of the nerves are situated. And then opposite just to that, we're almost there nearing it. So we're gonna go ahead and inject it around that area so you can get it right at that crest. So we're gonna go a little bit down. Full pinch. I feel this a little bit, okay, Bobby? Yep. No problem. Okay, great. And this one we're going to readjust. I know it's a lot of needles, but it's usually not as painful as it looks. <laughs> right, Bobby? It's not painful at all. <laughs> all right, fiction. Okay, great. So it looks like we got them situated pretty nicely. Go south. Okay, great. It looks like we got that side situated nicely as well. Okay, now we're going to go lateral. 
and we'll hit the fourth nerve, which is a little bit more higher up once we uh, get the lateral view in. Is that okay for you, Lee? Actually, yeah, let's go back down here and you move it first. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to hit your knee. There we go. There we go, that's better. I'll take that. I'll take that. It doesn't hurt at all. It's great. It's great. Playing a little bit nine mess in this spot here, okay? Yeah. superficial layer. We want them to be a little bit more deeper. So we're going to go in just a little bit. It shouldn't hurt too much as we go down. Mm -hmm. We're going to walk off the bone as we go down a little bit. And we'll take a picture. And you can see those two kind of went deeper down a little bit. On, their, on the edge of the bone. And those are kind of primarily about where the, the, the genicular nerves sit. Uh, and then right in that area we're going to, we're going to use some numbing medicine to block them off. And, and see how he does from there. We're gonna add one more, uh, one more needle up in the top where the fourth one is situated, and that'll be the last one. And then from there, we'll save it and inject the uh, the rest of the numbing medicine. one picture to confirm. Great, so now we have three on the top and they look like they're all pretty situated nice. So we'll save that. Finish the last. Yeah. We'll come off. And you can get out of the rest of the x-ray. Yeah, we'll finish the x-ray. Yeah. And usually what we place in it is two different forms of anesthetic, one being lidocaine, uh, one being bupivacaine is a longer acting form. And another one being a little bit of steroid to reduce inflammation, not so much. I would say about 95% of the concoction is, is anesthetic. I pull back to make sure we're not in any vessels. And we give about two cc's into each level. Make sure we block the nerve adequately. Okay, give it some time, rest a little bit and then we take out. Same thing here. About two cc's. If you feel kind of spasming here, that's kind of the nerve being kind of... Yeah, you just feel a little pressure. No yeah. Pain, just a little pressure. That's the nerve being a little bit triggered at that area. Gilbert, You'll be a member of SAG. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Bob? All right? Yeah, good, great. great. It's your first procedure? I'm sorry? It's your first procedure for your knee? or? It's... No, about my 30th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's had a lot of these. <laughs> so no. you're a pro? Yeah. No, I used to pro. Ruby's the pro. We just do our, we just do our jobs. Bobby usually does well enough of these. Yeah. 
how often does he come in for these procedures? Every two months. Every two months. Two months. Usually about two months, yeah. Okay. Just alternate legs. Alternate it out. And that's pretty much it. So that's the end of the procedure. We're just going to clean him up, put some bandage on, and he should be on his way. That's pretty much it. Thanks, guys.